Jim, you stay away from her room. All right. Don't go in there looking for buried treasure. You got it? Got it. Did you see? The problem is always the same. We know Molly's going to pull something, but we don't know what. We figure out what it is, we fix it, and then we turn around and it's something else. It's like she's always in control. She is not in control of the law. So the next time she has some kind of a legal maneuver for you two, tell her to talk to your attorney. It's what I'm here for. Will do. Thanks for coming, Tom. I'm really glad that this marry me thing didn't work out. Well, the divorce courts are full enough without it. Thanks for the coffee. I'll see you both. Bye-bye. my day what maybe I can't go see her but you know what it would sure be fun to hear her voice when she finds out that her little game didn't work out wait wait a second Tom didn't say that I couldn't call could you just could you do me a favor could you let me be the one to go over there and tell her in person you know what you really are a heartless vulture oh, now don't start the day name calling one hour and get out do I have to remind you that it's David's first day out of a hospital now he was quite well enough to visit his father in prison last night he's able to travel he can just keep going and take his trash with him well you know what I, I love how you keep forgetting why he was in the hospital in the first place where he almost died the man saved your life Lucinda I remember lies. I remember months and months of lies. Right, but did you ever bother to ask why he lied? Or did you ever ask him what he really thought about you all those months? No, you didn't, did you? I have no interest in anything of that sort. So get set, get ready, and get out. Hey, we, we don't want to be here any more than you want us here. So just give the man a couple of days to recuperate. Come on, it's non-negotiable. One hour, or else I get the sheriff to you push you what? out. Just wait, just wait until tomorrow morning when you read what my paper's going to say paper? about you. Yes, my no, paper. No, that paper was stolen property, as you, oh, you well know. know. You all right, all right, all right just stop this. All right, Look, ladies, stop. Emily? Fine. Okay. Listen to we are not looking for charity, all right? I don't think Emily is either. We will be off your property within one hour. I promise you. Please, just give us a little time to pack alone. That's all I'm asking. Did you call? Yeah, a couple of times. Nobody answered the phone. Well, I was so sick, I unplugged it. No kidding? Yeah, that, it started as this kind of migrainey thing, and then I got all achy and like a flu. Oh, sorry, that's terrible. You sure you're up for working today? Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. Hey, at least maybe it'll give me an excuse for my typing errors. Hmm? Use the spell checker. Hmm. I don't, I don't know how I got sick. Maybe somebody breathed on me who should have kept his distance. The only advice I can give you is get down to Al's diner, have some chicken soup, it cures anything. Okay, well, maybe I will. My stomach is still kind of creepy. So. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Jimmy, can I see you in my office? Thanks. You owe me. Uh, no, 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 I think I already paid. What? It's, it's funny, because, you know, I didn't really see you all that sick yesterday at Java. Okay. Okay. I won't tell about you in your great disguise. And you don't tell about me in my night out with Jake the Jerk. Yeah, Deal? So I guess the score is pretty even then. Mm -hmm. Well, just don't look for a tiebreaker. <clears throat> hey, Jack. How'd it go yesterday? What? Oh, oh, a tea. Uh, yeah, well, I guess, um... I guess uh, he, he, he really went for it, but I gotta work him some more, you know. Well, I'm glad that you could get through to him because he completely shut me out. That was a great disguise. Oh, thanks. Yeah, sometimes uh, I can fool anyone. What's going on between you and Carly? What? Well, I saw your heads together when I walked in here. What's going on? Oh, well, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess she had the flu. Yeah, she wasn't feeling so hot. That's, that's it. Oh, Jack, that is such a bad lie. Come on, I've been a detective for many years. I can now tell the difference between flu symptoms and something going on. What is going on? Yeah, well, it, it's not that something's going on, really, but uh, it's no big deal. No, you know, huge deal but all right 
right, yeah. Well, Carly did see me yesterday when I was in my Jake disguise. Did she recognize you? I slipped up, and then one thing led to another, and then and she did positive ID me, so... so stupid! No, it isn't. It, it is true. If she tells Hal, you're gonna be in such No, she's not gonna trouble. tell Hal. How do you know she's not gonna tell Hal? Believe me. You can't trust her. She is so close to Hal right no, now. No. How do you know she's not trust gonna me. tell? Trust huh? she's not gonna tell Hal. We already worked out a deal, all right? It's cool. Talking serious chicken soup. I don't know what he puts in this stuff, but it'll cure anything. I mean, oh. anything. Well, then, um, I'll take an early lunch, if I may. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You don't like what? I don't like this whole undercover no, thing. It's not gonna work. It's much too risky. I mean, if Carly Tenney can positively ID you, it's not gonna work. And if she tells Hal what you're doing, then it's gonna cost you your career. No, no, no. I'm listen, uh, you. Margo, listen to me. All right, this has to work. And what's the worst if Hal finds out, right? I lose my job. But if I don't find some way to clear hold him, then he's gonna go to jail for something he didn't do, and I can't sit still for that. No, this has got to work. And I need you out there for backup, so please tell me you're with me. I'm with you. Thanks. Now, we are gonna nail Teague, okay? It's just a question of when. Samantha, you are absolutely radiant. I'm right outside the door, ma'am. Thank you. I have missed you. I've missed you so much. I mean, the most terrible part of being here is that I don't get to see you. Did you get my flowers? Yes. And I want you to stop sending things effective immediately. You know, your eyes just shimmer. I mean it, Fire James. Fire you get angry. Listen to me. Stop. If you don't, I will go straight to the U.S. attorney who is prosecuting your case and see if I can't get a few more years added onto your sentence once you're convicted. I'm not going to be convicted. Excuse me? And I do love giving you things. What do you mean you're not going to be convicted? They must have over 100 felony charges lodged against you. Well, when it comes to the legal system, I'm an optimist. Then maybe you should start leaning a little bit more towards being a realist. Because this time, James, the odds are impossible. Impossible? Not for me. Nothing is impossible for me, Sam. And you know that. You know me very well. James, I didn't divorce Kirk. I know. We're back together again, happily married. Very happily married. You are an incredibly beautiful woman. I want you to stop sending me flowers, gifts, cards, candy, whatever. Is that clear? And if it happens again, I will go straight to the U.S. attorney. You know, Sam, you know, I think you will appreciate my gifts more when I am able to deliver them in person. There's this powerful attraction between us and something that potent is just not going to disappear ever. You with a man like Kirk Anderson? A weak little creature, a parasite? No, he could never keep you satisfied. I have so much to give you, Sam. So oh my much. God, for a man who's going to spend the rest of his life in prison, you do have gall. I have gall, I have determination, I have focus, and I have connection. And I live for two things. To get out of here, and to get to you. Yeah. Tell me everything about Holden's case. Hi, darling. Is Tom doing a good job? Is it adequate? Do you need someone to help you? What do you need? We're very optimistic at this point. Of course, we're all optimistic because Molly is not going to get us down. Hey, what about you? Me? What, what about you? What's, what's going on with the situation with David, huh? Oh. No. You finally got the evidence that he was lying? My smart little pussycat. She suspected right from day one. Uh, I had an idea that there... Was something wrong? Uh, is David out of the hospital? David is home. Where's home? Home <clears throat> is my guest house. However, I just paid them a visit in my guest house and I asked them to vacate this morning. How long does that take to pack up and get out? I don't know and I don't care. I just wanted him to realize how strongly I feel. Ah, well, at least that's taken care of. Mm -hmm. I know that was very difficult for you. Yes. Right. Another hollow victory. Yeah I, yeah, I know you had your hopes up. Yes, I did. Or I had come, well, who knows what might have happened. Hm. Well, now you have to deal with your family. You know, the real family. It's all oh, you have. Yes, yeah? and I love you so much. <laughs> Honey, 
Hmm, you putting on weight or something? What? No. Or, or maybe no. it's just you're not getting the flu. No. Oh. I've been a little tired lately. Because we wouldn't want any recurrence of your heart. Are you making sure that this young lady is eating nutritious, healthy food? I'm going to try. And wearing warm enough clothes? Because even though the snow has melted, it doesn't mean that spring is here. Mother, what? I think you should see your doctor, dear. Uh, uh, the only person I need to see right now is Molly. Conlon. Oh, why? Uh, don't worry. I just have a few things that I have to tell her. Just stay here and uh, talk to Holden. Darling, didn't I tell you, let me take care of her. Let me have her kneecaps crushed. I mean, I can still have very unpleasant things done to that I know. girl. I'd like that. I know. All right. Mm -hmm. And you remember that. I will. All right, darling. A child never listens to a word I say. I want that tape back. I haven't finished watching the movie. Well, when I came in here, I thought you said that you had just finished looking at it. Well, maybe you need to get your hearing aids checked, because what I said was I wanted to finish watching it because it's good. Okay, Toots, watch your way. Thanks. Just remember, you only have one day to watch those films, okay? Oh, and I'm just dying of curiosity. What is this film that you like so much? Maybe I can recommend it to some of my patients. What do I look like, Siskel and Ebert? Look, let me finish watching my movie, and why don't you just go do whatever it is you do? Mm. I really feel real sorry for you. A lot of good people in Oakdale have tried to help you out over and over again. You keep pushing people away. All this venom and hatred you keep spewing out, it's going to come back to haunt you. Thing is going to haunt me as long as I've got that tape. Hey, Jack. Where are you going? Uh, Teague usually starts drinking about 2 or 3 o'clock, so I'm just going to head home, get in my Jake gear, and then uh, happen to stop by the you bar. You know, I am so uncomfortable with Carly knowing about this. If she tells Hal, then you are going to be Margo, in here in a Margo, heartbeat. Carly is going to keep her mouth shut. See, I happen to know some stuff she wants to keep a secret. What? No, I can't tell you. Yeah, that you blows can. my leverage. No, you can tell me. Who am I going to tell? No, I've got nobody Margo, else to tell. Margo, tell me. I promised Carly. And you wouldn't want me to break my word, would you? Oh, heaven forbid. Get out of here. I'll be in the parking lot of the bar at 2 o'clock on. Great. Jack? Yeah? I want to catch this guy as badly as you do, but you got to be careful out there. You got it? Got it. Because, Jack, a cop, any cop, even a rotten ex one like Teague, can sometimes spot another cop a mile away, so careful. Margo, you didn't know who I was. Relax, okay? You know, sometimes playing somebody else has its advantages. Get you something. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'd like a bowl of your chicken soup, please. I've heard it can cure anything. Well, it won't cure what you've got. Excuse me? Uh, by the way, you were smiling. Uh, looks like you got it bad for somebody. What? <laughs> don't be silly. That's silly. Why would you say something like that? I, I don't have it bad for anybody. But you, you shouldn't just go around saying things like that things that aren't true. It, it's not even remotely true. <laughs> I'll get you soup. Lisa, if you've come back to collect your stupid movie, forget it. Come in. Surprise, surprise. I was wondering if you had a few minutes. Plenty of time on your hands when you're stuck in the hospital. How are you feeling? Oh, just peachy. I won't be long. I just have a few things I have to tell you. Well, I'm listening. I know that you stole the outtakes from Steve, your editor. And we both know why, don't, don't we? There's something on that tape that proves that Holden got those scratches before you got beaten up. 
I told you I would listen. And I've heard every word fine, but Lily, you're not making any sense. How could I steal something that I know nothing about while I'm lying here in a hospital? Molly, you were the only one who... The reason I came over here is I know how determined you are to get Holden to marry you. I also know that you would do anything to make him look guilty, including stealing evidence that proves that he is innocent. There you go with that stealing thing again. Would you look where I'm living? Will you? Look, I was beaten up. I, I'm, I am battered. I am sore. I look like hell. What do you think I do? Run around in the middle of the day in my hospital gown, robbing banks during lunch it's hour? It's not going to work. What isn't going to work? Everything you're doing to Holden. To get him to marry you to protect himself, it's not going to work. Holden knows the score. I'll let him give me his answer. You know, I think you got your legal advice out of a romance novel, Molly. So you think that a wife doesn't have to testify against her husband? You're wrong. Holden talked to his attorney. The laws have changed over the years. In cases of abuse, you will have to testify against him and get on that stand. I'm sorry. So I'll have to testify. I think you're forgetting something, Lily. What's that? They can force me to take the stand. But they can't tell me what I have to say. Let me get this straight. You're planning to go on the stand if Holden hasn't married you and not just give them the I don't remember routine, but to actually lie and have him convicted. And now part two of As the World Turns. You must think I'm really some piece of work. Every time you see me, you accuse me of some evil garbage, and I just try to explain to you that I am in love with someone. Just tell me, Molly, just tell me. If Holden doesn't marry you, are you going to lie? Is that what you're going to do? Why do I keep thinking that you're recording this conversation? Oh. You think I'm wearing a wire? You, you, want, you want to check me out? You want to, you want to, come on, you want to frisk me? No, Is that what you, you want to do? What? I really don't get off on that kind of thing. Really? Yeah. And you can keep your coat on because you're not staying. Just Tell me, just tell me, is that you're gonna go that far? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna lie, right? You're gonna lie and say that Holden beat you up. I said, I offered to help Holden. I am not the villain here, I am the victim, remember? Now, if Holden agrees to, to take my help, that is his decision, not yours and not mine. I said, oh, you're gonna lie. You're gonna, you're gonna just do it. You realize that's blackmail? No. Blackmail? No, that is love. Love, I am talking about loving someone here. I am You're willing sick. to do anything to help him. Oh, please, Molly. And I will always be willing. Forever. See, now, you might have a problem with that because you have had God knows how many true loves in your sweet little lifetime, but I've only had one. And the only man that it will ever be is Holden Snyder. You see, we have a child together. Mm. And I know that we can have a future together, too. What do you think? What do you think he's going to do? You think he's going to he's going to come back to you after the lying, the cheating, the stealing? You think oh, he's going to voluntarily marry you, Molly? Anything <laughs> I did, Lily, I did for love. Hmm. Love is worth it. You know, and you might want to think about that. Love is worth anything. You know, and Holden's going to realize that too. Oh, that is if you give him a chance to. Oh, but hey, you know, it's really Holden's decision. But it's yours too. You know, you might want to ask yourself, do I give him up? Or do I see him rot in prison for the rest of his life? Now, I can sympathize with your problem. I can't. I really can't. It's going to be hard. But like I said, you have had many loves. You can move on. But I can't. And I won't. I'll never give him up. Just uh, took in a little dust. That's all that closet of mine was not as tidy and clean as I thought it was. You witch. Why couldn't she just give you a couple of days to recuperate? I mean, what's wrong with her? You should uh, be laying down. You shouldn't be doing this. What is honey, wrong honey, with her? Shh, shh. 
Come on, let it go. I right? can't. Let it go. You know, you know something? If I was in her shoes, I'd probably be doing the same oh, damn thing. Oh, you would not. No, seriously, I would. Think about it. You know what is so ridiculously ironic about this whole thing is that we really are a lot alike. I and mean, that's what I think made this whole thing, by me playing the role Stop of her son, it. so easy. You are nothing like her. I am, Emily. I'm ambitious. I'm bullheaded. I'm... Fine. You are those things, but you have a heart. David, you know how to love. True. True. I love you. Especially when you stand up for me like that with such passion and power. <laughs> my God, I thought you were going to take a swing at her. No, actually, I, um, in my mind, I was visualizing those steak knives that you have in the back kitchen. <laughs> wow. Wow. I was impressed. I loved it. And I was only doing for you what you've done for me. I've never had a man stand up for me the way you have. We make a good team, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We should stick together. Yes, we should. Cool. Okay, you take it easy. I'm going right. to do most of the packing. Let's get the stuff in okay. the car. Just grab a light box. No, I'll something. get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, God, how much clothes do you have anyway? But I got a lot of clothes. I thought you wanted to meet for lunch. Mm. Mm. Okay, you can be late more often. Here's yeah, something. You may be a cad, but you're my kind of cad. The kind that I love. You have other cads in your life? I only need one. You. Mm. You okay? I mean, listen, I'll, I'll be your cad. I'll be your caddy. I'll be anything you want me to be. And if you're going to kiss me like that every time you're late, then I'll mess with all the clocks in the house. You're late more often. But something's wrong here, isn't there? I mean, that kiss was... Look, mister, I am with the man that I love. And also right with the world. And, and I kissed you because... I don't want anything to go wrong in our life. You know what? That better not be another woman. It's not. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, man, that's beautiful. Thanks. No, that's perfect. I owe you. All right, bye. Sammy, not only is nothing not going to go wrong in our lives, but everything's about to get 100% better. Come on, we got to find yourself. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Well, you remember I said I was going to do some digging on David Allen, the little lost boy who wasn't? Well, I just hit pay dirt. And that boy is going to wish he was never born to anybody. Come on. you like I did last night. You better not. But I would dearly love to have a taste. Of what? The soup. The soup. So I can decide if I would like some myself. Surely you wouldn't be so cruel as to refuse to help a man make up his mind. Jack, will you stop with the southern accent? You never had me convinced you were from Georgia anyway. Unless there's a Chicago, Georgia. And I've already said, if you're going to try to have a repeat of last night, you can forget it. Yeah, and I already said I wasn't going to kiss you, so I don't know you're so uptight about it. Well, I've heard you make promises before, Jack, and they usually turn out to be lies. Yeah, well, we've both done some lying in our day, haven't we, Carly? This disguise thing, Kyle doesn't want you to do it, does he? You're lying to him, you're doing something behind his back. Mm. Yeah, just like you lied about having the flu last night. We both got our secrets to keep. And since neither one of us is the tattletale, what do you think that means? I don't know. 
Maybe it means we can do whatever we want. And nobody will tell. Just what did you have in mind? Matthew, I really don't need you. Just want to take a look. Do from David. Dude, it's good. Aha! There you are. You said he thought he saw you heading this way. Yes, I've just, I just was taking a look around here. Do you mind? Do you mind? I just want to make sure that David and Emily hadn't expropriated anything. <clears throat> when I think of the months that I've wasted on that Stenbeck bastard. Well, you know, it's really too bad. In the old days, when somebody tried to scam you, you could do all sorts of fun stuff, like dip them in boiling oil, tar and feathering them, riding them out on a rail. Can't do that stuff anymore. They had them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, I can't do any of that either. But what if I told you that I had stuff on David Allen that would grind him so far into the dirt that he'd never get up again? What are you talking about? Well, you remember that little research project we talked yeah. about? You yeah, wanted yeah. me to find yeah. out whatever I could about David Allen? Uh -huh. Well, the research yeah. paid off. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But we also talked about something else, you remember? No. Oh, come on, don't do this to me, question and answers. Well, it's just my subtle way of reminding you that as much as I appreciate the vice presidency you gave me, my real, oh. my real place is back in my I old job in the that. big chair making the big... Got it. Box. Okay, look, you come up with something useful to me and I'll consider it. So, give it to me straight. Well, let's see. Where should I begin? Oh, come on. Spit it out, darling. Spit it out. You know, I had to do a lot of digging for this, Lucinda. David Allen covered his tracks very well. The work was very, very tough. But I said, you know, if Lucinda wants this, by golly, I've got to roll up my sleeves and get it for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will consider returning you to your former special glory if you give me something interesting. So tell me what it is. Hmm? I think you should tell her, Kirk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Now, you remember when David Allen came to Oakdale, he was the assistant DA. Yeah. Of course you do. And then he became the district attorney, didn't he? But of course you remember that too. What if I told you that not only was he fooling you about being your little sonny boy, but he's not even really a lawyer. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Seems he never passed the bar exam. He's been practicing illegally low these many years. Now, is that dirt or is that dirt? Hmm. You've got him, Lucinda. You've got everything you need to destroy David Allen for what he did to you. I'm worried. So, when you told her that this marriage thing wasn't going to work out, didn't even phase her? She just blinked a couple of times and basically said, so what? She's just gonna lie. She's just gonna lie? She said that? Well, not in those words, but her intention was very clear. You marry her and she's there for you. If you don't... She'll say that I hit her. Right. Well, she didn't say it in those exact words, but she gave me a choice. Either I give you up or you end up in jail for the rest of your life. What else does that sound like to you? I don't know. You know what? Why don't we just sit down? Let's try and figure out a way that we can fight back. I mean, we have a lot of time before this trial even happens. Let's just take it easy today. Try not to think too much about it. Relax. Okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my mother, and she wants to call the mafia, and what do you say? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Lily. It's Molly. Is Holden there? Molly! I think everything has been said that needs to be said, don't you? You know, I really hate it when people patronize me. Did you tell Holden about my promise? What, if he doesn't marry you, you lie on the stand? Yes, I did tell him that. Oh, good. So then he is there. I'd like to talk to him. She wants to talk to you. What do you want, Molly? Hello, Holden. Look, you know, Lily told me everything, and... I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Look, my lawyer doesn't want me talking to you, and it's like Lily told you. Everything's already been said, so I'm hanging up. Wait. No. 
There is actually something new, Holden. All right. What? My doctor came by here today, and he told me I'm going to be released. Today. Yeah? So? So, well, in case you were thinking that I was bluffing with what I said to Lily, I think you should know I've already called the police. Uh, about what? Well, I made an appointment to go down to the police station the second I get released today. And I'm going to tell them that my memory's back and that you are the one that beat me up. And there is nothing you are going to be able to do to convince them that it's not the truth. Have you heard what I said, Holden? Holden. Oh, what a day. Oh, no, what a mess. Oh, dear. Well, all my good magazines are gone. And I've got no more Danielle Steele. And what is this? Hey, do you have a label? Did you just come off it? Did somebody... Somebody scrape that off. That's strange. Oh, and we got a little red dot. Yeah, we wonder what that means. Well, I guess I'll take you home. I'll watch you, put a label on you. Can't wait. What I had in mind was a little game. Hide and seek? More of a mental game. Like what? Like I try hard not to make a repeat of last night. What do I do? You try hard to make me believe that you don't want me to. So we're talking about the kiss. Do we really have to talk about it? What the hell is this? 